Hello everyone, so today we are talking technology and I've made a few technology reviews before on different things like my Bose headphones and my um, e-reader when I purchased it originally. I will link some of those down below and this whole thing will be part of my technology playlist. Um, but if you are coming across this video as a camera enthusiast, then you will find that I tend to share thoughts that are a little bit different from your average technology review video. Most of these videos are made with a little bit of a girlier point of view in that I usually am looking at aesthetics as well as functionality and I tend to really also focus them for my purposes as well. So for example with this review my main focus on the Canon G7X is going to be my thoughts on it as a vlogging camera because that was why I purchased it. The video actually has been quite requested because a lot of you were curious about how I make my videos so it will probably turn out to be a little bit of a mini series with a couple more videos coming your way. Now this camera has been out a while now and it was really exciting when it came out because it was I think one of the first cameras to challenge the Sony RX100 which was a bestseller for them and another popular camera for vlogging. What's special about the Canon G7X is actually a couple of things. So it's a really strong camera overall in terms of the zoom and the lens on it and I won't bore you by repeating a lot of the technical features of it in this video because I'm not particularly well placed to explain that. I'm not a camera expert. What I will do is link down below some really good articles that I read when I was doing my research that kind of explain that quite well. Um, but it has a very strong zoom and it's very smooth as well. Um, but for a vlogger, the really key feature of this camera, which surprisingly actually still not that many compact cameras on the market have, is the flip-up screen. And it's an especially good one as well because the flip-up screen goes up instead of towards the side so you can see really well in terms of what's behind you and whether or not you're in focus and within the frame when you're vlogging and if you've ever vlogged you know how important that is. Um, so it really is an amazing camera for that purpose. Um, it has some great features in terms of adjusting the exposure. It works really well when you turn the exposure up which is something that's really popular with vloggers usually because nobody wants to watch really dark shadowy videos online but sometimes you can't help your lighting if you're just vlogging about in your everyday life. It's not something that you can control like you can with a ring light or something when you're sitting down and filming. So turning up the exposure and having that be um, a strong part of the camera's design is really important. To quickly outline some downsides, um, there are a couple of key downsides but for me they don't um, in any way overwhelm um, how beneficial the camera has been for my channel. Um, if you want to see more um, vlogging that I've done using this camera. Every single vlog that I filmed for Vlogmas in 2015 was filmed on this camera, so I'll link that playlist down below. I purchased it actually specifically around that time period. I think I received it around a week before Vlogmas started, so I was still learning how to use it, and you can see kind of my control of the camera get better as Vlogmas goes on. Um, but I really enjoyed using it for that time period. It's um, very easy to carry around, very easy to use, take a quick photo for the thumbnail. Um, it's just a really handy little camera. My top negative for the camera has to do with the um, voice and sound input. So the microphone is actually at the top of the camera and your natural sort of inclination I think when you're vlogging is to hold it this way. Even when you have the screen popped up there's still enough room for your finger and it feels very stabilizing to do that so you'll have no audio for that entire vlog which is awful if you are a vlogger you get me on that. Um, that's very seldom happened to me because I actually read um, about where it was before I started vlogging with it um, and then adjusted my finger position as time went on. So that's very seldom happened to me but it, it definitely would feel more natural to hold it with your finger over that spot right here in the middle. So I find that very poor design because they would have known that people surely would vlog with it because 
why put a flip up screen on it otherwise it just doesn't make any sense and then this isn't surprising because really no other cameras in the competitor body um, on the market right now have this but it would have been nice if there was um, a mic output on this camera that way you could connect a microphone to it and you would be able to use this camera for more professional sort of sit down videos like this one for example so I think as a youtuber or video creator in general purchasing this camera will not ultimately replace your need for a DSLR as well. I think a DSLR will tend to take slightly more professional photos and you'll also have the ability to add a professional mic to it which will improve your video quality which is getting more and more important as um, the quality of videos that people put up on YouTube goes up. So I'm still using my Canon DSLR right now. I'm actually going to purchase a new one shortly and I'll probably make a video about that when that happens. Happens. But other than that, you can see me fiddling with it and part of that too is that this camera is such excellent quality. So it's very hefty, it feels very solid. Um, I love that about it. I felt right away as soon as I took it out of its packaging that I had purchased something that was real quality. Canon made a really good product here that's just going to be such a smooth experience for um, any kind of vlogger no matter how um, lengthy your experience has been and that you'll be able to use right away to film your videos um, for YouTube right out of the box. So I think that's excellent because I'm not a big believer that things need to be complicated in order to produce um, quality content. So it weighs about 300 grams I read online and I have to say it feels more than that when I'm holding it. Um, however, you get used to it and I don't find that my arm gets super tired when I'm holding it. Because it's a pricey sort of camera, I do recommend that you get a case for it because you could easily um, drop it and really damage the screen or crack it. So I did purchase one and I'm very happy with it. I'll link it um, down below for you. It's actually a really nice leather case that I got from Amazon when I purchased this camera. So. I've been really happy with that and it's helped to keep the camera looking new, which you definitely want. Um, so you can see how it kind of fits over it and then it also has a strap that came with it. The camera does retail for between six and seven hundred dollars depending on where you live. If you're looking into starting a channel or you have a channel already, maybe you want to get into doing more vlogs, um, I would say that this is pretty much your market leader um, choice for cameras. Another big concern for vloggers or video creators um, overall is how stable the content is going to be once you film it. That's been one of the biggest perks that this has changed for my content creation is everything that I filmed on the Nikon walking around would be so shaky but somehow this camera really stabilizes very well and the technology in it um, really does compensate for any movement of your arm as you're walking around. So right now of course I am filming this content on my Canon DSLR, my old um, T3i so it's not going to be kind of any kind of mind-blowing quality and because like I said I'm going to get a new one um, but I had to film it on something so I could show you the actual camera and be able to explain the different parts to you so right now we are going to go off on an adventure a little vlogging adventure I'm not going to make it a super long vlog like I probably normally would but I wanted you to see what the quality is like um, in terms of outputs so I'm going to take this camera and I have a couple of things I need to do on this rainy Sunday here in Vancouver so you'll be able to see how it performs in less than optimal kind of conditions and in real life and you will be able to make up your minds for yourself so I'm gonna leave you here and go off um, with my little camera and you guys will come with me hello everyone so welcome to the torrential downpour that is Vancouver today on this very rainy Sunday so I'm currently making my way over to the Fairmont Pacific Rim. I have an appointment at the Willow Stream Spa for a luxurious massage to treat myself after finishing with this move because my lower back kind of hurts and I do have like a benefits package that has massages. So we're going to see what it's like. I've been told that it's one of the most luxurious, if not the most luxurious place in Vancouver to have a massage. So we'll see if I agree with that. Um, unfortunately, it's not a very nice day today, otherwise I'd have some beautiful scenery to sample this camera with, but right now I'm trying not to eat my hair or get hit in the face by my umbrella, which is exactly what happened like two minutes before I started filming this.
right everyone, so you'll have to excuse my post-massage greasy hair, but I have to say that was pretty wonderful. Um, I've been to the Absolute Spa at the Hotel Vancouver before, and this is a whole other experience. Just the property itself is so stunning. I think the only shame of it was that it was so rainy I couldn't really enjoy any of the outdoor features like the hot tub or um, one of the steam rooms, the infrared one, um, you couldn't really even get to without getting soaked. So, But other than that, it was extremely relaxing, perfect way to spend a rainy day and ease the ache of my body after moving way too much stuff. So I think right here at the convention center in beautiful Vancouver, right by the water, is a good place to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Canon G7X review, kind of random little vlog, I know, but I thought it would be good to show you a little bit about how I use it so you can decide whether it might be a good fit for you. Everything will be linked down below as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.